Well, ladies and gents, it's midsummer, it's harvest time, so you know what that means. Yeah, yeah, it's pouring down. Right, I'll feed the dog. Hi, dog. I'm going to have to name the dog, aren't I? That's been going all night. Man, you, we've been busy last night. We uh, we knew the rain was coming. Uh, that's getting pretty full. And that's getting pretty full. We knew the rain was coming last night. Uh, well, this morning. It was on the forecast. And we managed to get <coughs> some fields in. I didn't really do a lot of uh, video on it because it's very dark, but uh, here's a little bit. Also managed to get this field cultivated with the small cultivator we had but then we decided to sell the silage from the silage bunker over there and we got rid of the bunker actually uh, when it was empty so with the money we made from the silage I decided to buy a new tractor one a bit more powerful and a little so it can pull a bigger cultivator because that that took a while so we were quite busy last night. So this morning I've hired a bigger cultivator, just over there, and uh, hopefully we'll get these fields that were harvested uh, cultivated. On top of that, I think I might have a cow that's pregnant. Oh, that might be a good thing. So I had to go and check on that last night. But I do feel like we're really winky, and I've got my lantern out. <laughs> Don't know what I'm And on top of all that, what we did last night, we also planted a, a couple of saplings. Uh, can you? I don't know. Can can you see them here? Yeah, we planted a couple of them. Um, well, when I say a couple, we planted 500. So all this area now is all saplings. I thought we'll plant them near the uh, the wood mill. That'll be a, a damn fine area to to keep them. Right, all ten meters apart. Well, apart from where I messed up, which I think over here I messed up. Yeah, just here. You keep your eye on these. These will be stunted. These will only be little things, even if they grow. It's supposed to be 10 metres apart. Never mind. And there's another couple that uh, didn't go to plan. But the majority, the majority should grow fully. Right, let me introduce you to uh, Neville. Neville is my new tractor, by the way. So we've hired this rather large cultivator, better than the uh, three metre one we had. And uh, I, bought, I bought Neville over here. It's uh, Neville Chamberlain. Yeah. 
No. <laughs> I wanted to look with a bit of oomph. And uh, this has got a bit of oomph. So, I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is hook up to that uh, cultivator and uh, we'll get a field done. Yes, it's articulated. Not my favourite bit of machines, but I'm hoping this articulation at the front is better than having it at the back. Turning circle's not the best. Well, this will be the first time I've uh, I've used this. Come on, Neville, don't let me down. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch that turning. We've also bought some extra land. We've bought. These four plots down at the bottom, around this area here, <clears throat> I'm thinking of putting a nice field in there. So we're going to have to clear that area of trees. I've managed to uh, find in the shed an old, an old chainsaw. So that will come in rather handy. Right, let's see how this performs. Right, well, that was the first field done. I've got another two to do. We managed to get four fields in uh, last night. They were the only ones ready to harvest. So I'll crack these other two off. And I'll get back to you very shortly. I'm just going around this last field here. And that's where I want to build my new field, I think, over there. Now, because we bought all that land, um, we managed to cut the grass last night. Hang on, we'll drop that down. Be a bit 
a little bit quicker if I go in this. And we got so much grass, we even cut grass over that area that we'd missed on the uh, on the first cut. We filled two silage bunkers up, and as you can see, I took the one off the farm because uh, doing the trips to where we're selling them, excuse me, to where we're selling them was uh, quite a bit of a thing. So as we bought this land near to the shop. We, uh, we bought these two extra extra silos and managed to fill them. So that's nicely cooking away. And uh, yeah, that's a nice flattish bit of land over there. So I'm looking at that to do something. I'm hoping to get a field and get it to... Um, I'm thinking of installing a self-fertilizing kind of system, so I can just leave it to it. But we'll see how that goes, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm looking into the situation at the moment. Right, I'll carry on with this. Well, that's the cultivated done on them four fields. So I'm glad that's out the way this morning. Get that in there. Can I get that in? Certainly can. Don't mind leaving the uh, the cultivator out in the rain. It needs a bit of a wash anyway. Fantastic. Right. I will keep hold of that for a little while. I've still got two fields, three fields. I've got sunflowers, corn, and soya bean left to harvest and these potatoes here. We've got the potatoes and uh, at least this little topper may have been a bit premature it's not quite ready yet. I don't like paying for things and I'm not using them. Right. I'm going to go down to the other area now. Oh I need to fertilize them fields don't I? Yeah. Right, we've done the second phase of fertilisation on them fields, and it's not even lunchtime. Absolutely wonderful. Right. We're going to go and have a look at something. I started something the other night. There's some rocks in the middle of the field, and um, I started to have a little chip at them. See if I could, you know get rid of them sort of thing but uh, oh, it, it was back breaking and I've hardly touched them so I've got to go and pick up the bits I broke off Oops. before um, I get them caught in the harvester no one that breaking up now can I get across here without damaging the crop not really got wide tyres. Let's have a look. No, that looks okay. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I thought these were in the way. And, uh... Well, I started chipping at them with a a bit of a hammer and chisel and uh, well, I got these bits off but it's taking a long time you know can't pick that one up it's too heavy I'm gonna have to come back with uh, a bucket when uh, I've harvested but I'm gonna have to get these out of the field Oops. Pick this one up. Oh dear me, that's heavy. That's heavy. Any more? I'm not going to be able to pick that up. 
Now I think I've got all the small ones. I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to come back with some sort of, some sort of bucket for these. Well, that I'll have to do after the harvest. Yeah. Ah, I could build a little rockery. Couldn't I? I could build a little rockery and a garden sort of thing going on. Or I could build a house. Maybe a stone house. Now there is an idea. This isn't going to stay in there, is it? No. No, that's not going to stay in there. I'm going to throw it to the side of the field for now. When I can find it. Come here. Come here. Oh! Go on, you. That's quite a round one. That'd be no good for house building anyway. I need a square one. These are quite square. Hmm. There's a heart. There's an idea. I've got a new shed, by the way. We were doing quite a bit of uh, lumbering, shall we say. Down there to the south. And, uh, yeah, it's old. It's old, it's cheap. You know, but, uh, there we go. We've just been tuning this one up. Well, sorting out the engine. Got a little bit damp last night in the rain, delivering logs. So, that should be good to go today. And we've got some more packs of logs to sell. So that'll be some more money coming in today. Uh, so, gosh. Gosh, it's wet. You know what? I might update this as well. I mean, you know, it's old. It's old. Uh, but I like it. It's not the comfiest. I'm sure there's comfier cars out there. I've not tried them. But I might, I might update it. Why have I got £20 wage? Who am I paying? Where the heck am I paying? So, we have no timber left. Let's have a look at here. Yeah, we can't get any more out of there, but we've got a few to sell here. And they've been bringing in, well you saw on a video before, 38,000, and last night I was getting 40,000 a pallet for these. I mean, that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 pallets there. Uh, we were getting about 5,000 for these. I've got a few, a few stored up. We've not kicked this, this plant off yet. It's going to need pallets to work, so we'll have to sort that out. Well, I could only spawn one. That's because uh, that's because the loading area is full. But we'll get them made as well today, and we've got this little. Nice little saw going. Put the cover back on. So, I might look at uh, extending that house. I don't know. Ah, I'll get these back to the farm. We're back. Oh, I bought this loading wagon as well. That's uh, how we uh, got the grass up for the silage bunkers down there. That's a noisy thing. How much more has this got to make? 
quite a bit yet. Goodness gracious. Mind you, I'll leave it running through the day. I might turn it off at night. Right. What else have I got to do? Cut down some trees. Right, let's get these stones off. So while it's raining, we can't do anything in the fields really. Not anything more. I could plant a couple of things. I might wait. I might wait. I'll, I'll look into that. I want to create this other field, really. Corn's up. So we took the trees from this area and we've levelled it out. We're going to extend that cornfield. This is the area I'm looking at. It's not got too many trees in it. So I could drop these. Let's get the chainsaw. Yeah, I told you it was an old. I told you it was an old chainsaw, but you know it does the business. Yeah, we go. You see, sharp as a button. Just deep branch it there. Right. I've not got too many to go, and uh, I'll get this field done, ploughed, and set up this uh, fertilisation system that I've got planned in my head. I've found some old piping, so I'm going to rig something up. So next time when you come, there'll be a field here, and hopefully, hopefully a working fertilising system. So uh, I'm going to give it a try. So until then, the next time, I wish you all very well. I hope you stay safe. Have a great time. And bye-bye uh, till then.